good afternoon children in the last class we were discussed about the evidences for the evolution isn't it so we were discussed about the i mean the various type of the our evidences which is responsible as well as explain about the how the exactly the evolution is happened isn't it so in this class we will continue the discussion with respect to the theories of biological evolutions okay fine so there are a few theories actually majorly there are three 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 theories which is comes under the biological evolution which is try to explain how the origin of the life and existed on this earth okay so let us start the discussion with respect to the theories of biological evolution so whenever it comes to the theories of the biological evolution there are three major important theories okay they try to explain so there are three of the different scientists they try to explain i mean the theories of the biological evolution with respect to the how the exactly the biological evolution is happened on this earth in that one the first one is a theory of lamarck it is popularly known as lamarckism or theory of inheritance of acquired characters and the second one is darwin darwin theory it is popularly known as darwinism or theory of natural selection and the third one is mutation theory of hugo davies actually okay so among these three i hope uh, i mean the lamarckism as well as the darwinism you must have studied in the high school level only try to recall and i will try to elaborate as well as explain uh, in detail about all these things and the mutation theory of the hugo davies it is here only i mean it is present the pu level that one also after that so i will try to explain in detail okay so let us start the discussion we will learn today about the theories of the biological evolution in that one first one is the theory of lamarck or the lamarckism okay it is also known as theory of inheritance of acquired characters okay okay so whenever it comes to the the lamarck theory of evolution as i said the theory of inheritance of acquired character it is proposed by lamarck okay he is actually i mean the lamarck is actually a french naturalist and even the lamarck had said that evolution of the life form had occurred by driven by use and disuse of the organs okay so that means so the lamarckism or theory of inheritance of acquired character it was given by or it is proposed by lamarck okay so that he is actually a french naturalist are you getting he is actually french naturalist it states that the evolution of the life forms occurred by inheritance of acquired character okay are you getting yeah so that means uh, whatever he try to explain in those days by taking example okay according to his i mean the view he try to explain but then in those days that was one of the important as well as the milestone with respect to the theories of the biological evolution okay see he try to explain majorly based on so that means the lamarck theory of the inheritance of acquired characters is majorly based on the two points okay are the two concepts so that's what i said so lamarck had said that evolution of the life forms had occurred by driven by use and disuse of the organs okay so that is whatever the acquired characters are developed by any organism it is because of use and disuse of the organs okay so he tried to explain by taking example in the first one the evolution by use of organs you know generally uh, whenever we see the giraffe okay so long neck of the giraffe is due to continuous elongation to forage uh, leaves on trees so this acquired characters was inherited to the succeeding generation so that means so it is believed that 
whenever the giraffe actually so compared to the normal grazing animals in the beginning it was also normal only but whenever on the lower i mean the ground level they are not able to get the uh, whatever the leaves or the trunks whatever it may be but so because of the scarcity because of the scarcity of the uh, leaves okay so that means the giraffe is who in attempt who in an attempt to forage leaves on the tr tall trees had to adopt by elongation of their necks so due to the continuous due to the continuous elongation to forage of the leaves on the trees so this acquired characters was inherited to a succeeding generation in the next generation so finally the giraffes they got the so that means elongated long neck as well as the forelimbs okay so this is how he tried to explain the evolution by use of the organs and the another one is evolution by disuse it is believed that you know the snakes which is comes under the reptiles it is believed that in the beginning the snakes also had a limbs but periodically whenever the snakes they were not used the i mean the, their limbs continuously so because of this i mean the disuse it is believed that according to lamarck actually okay it is believed that according to lamarck due to the continuous disuse okay it's about uh, i mean a long duration actually so that's what he said evolution by disuse so whenever the snakes they were didn't use the continuously the limbs the disappearance of the limbs is happened in the snakes okay so this is how the french naturalist lamarck has said to that evolution of the life form had occurred by occurred by driven by use and disuse of the organs okay so that's what he is given the example with respect to the the evolution of the use of organs as well as evolution by disuse okay yeah so but the problem is whenever of course it was a milestone in the beginning and it is believed in the beginning okay naturalist but fortunately unfortunately in the next coming days okay so this theory was discarded okay or this theory was eliminated out because of its proof that the characters are inherited only through the genes okay so it is not inherited through the acquired characters so that means the whatever the inheritance of acquired characters which cannot move from one generation to another generation only the characters are inherited from one generation to another generation through the genes you can ask me how for example nowadays uh, instead of using our body organs only maximum we utilizes our brain if it will be true according to lamarckism our fore limbs and hind limbs that means hands and legs will become shorter as due to the continuous usage of our head it should will be enlarged isn't it so that's why so this is not possible okay and you can also give the another example you know athletes athletes are the sports person so generally they will be having a very good body and the body structure as well as the fit muscles but even if they give stress to the next generation that children will be normal okay whatever they are having the physical fitness cannot be seen in those i mean the offsprings okay so that's why the characters are inherited only through the genes not by acquired characters are you getting yeah so so this is how exactly the reason behind the elimination of the lamarckism are the so generally it is also known as the limitations the limitations or the drawbacks of the lamarckism did you got it yeah so after this one there is another important theory which is comes under the theories of the biological evolution as well as the most accepted 
present whatever we are using also okay so it is proposed by charles darwin okay so is actually darwin in the beginning is also a naturalist only okay so the darwin who proposed the darwinism or we can also say the complete name of the darwin charles darwin it was based on observation during a sea voyage in a that is sail ship called hms beagle okay so that means he went to the so long voyage actually for the purpose of observation so with the help of that hms beagle and alfred wallis a naturalist worked in a malay that is archipelago so that means alfred wallis had also come to the similar conclusions so both they were worked on the similar and the observation so they gave the similar conclusion the work of the thomas malthus and the populations greatly influenced the darwin so if he tried to continue the observations whatever it is given by the thomas malthus finally he concluded in the name of that is nothing but the darwinism okay so what did she said actually so i was telling about she the darwin theory of evolution it is popularly known as theory of natural selection why because the natural selection it is a process of selection of the better adapted individuals with useful variations by the nature or the individuals less adapted to the environment are eliminated and selecting those better adapted by the nature but majorly whatever the darwin try to explain the darwinism is based on two important key concepts so in that when the first one is the branching descent the branching descent what is the meaning of this one so it explains that all organisms are modified descendants of previous life forms so that means all the organisms whatever we identify present so they are all modified descendants of previous life forms so they had the common ancestor okay they had a common ancestor earlier so during period of the evolution but later okay later due to sudden heritable changes so they may be so the descendants may be diffuse with respect to the branching irrigating yeah so another key component or the key concept that is a natural selection so that's what i said so it is the process of selection of better adapted individuals with useful variations by the nature or individuals less adapted to the environment are eliminated and selecting those better adapted by the nature okay so consider so for the purpose of the natural selection consider a bacterial colony a which is growing on a given medium if the medium composition is changed only a part of the population can survive under a new condition so this variant population b outgrows the other and appears as a new species so that means the b is the better than a under new condition so thus the nature selects for fitness isn't it so whatever it is get adjust so that means the whatever organisms are better adapted to survive in an otherwise hostile environment okay so this must be very important so that is what we call adaptive ability okay so then only the adaptive ability having organisms can be inherited can survive for the next generations okay so here so whenever he see that the various observations based on the natural selection so that means the whatever the darwin given the darwinism a the theory of the natural selection is based on the following facts okay it is observed by the so that is charles darwin what are those observations means the first one is heritable minor variations 
the second one is overproduction the third one is limited natural resources a fourth one is struggle for existence and the fifth one is survival of the fittest so they are also called the five key factors the five key factors based on this the natural selection is given by the i mean the the darwin theory of the evolution which is based on the these five key components okay see uh, let me explain one by one how it will be exactly the heritable minor variations you know very well that in the beginning classes i told you the you know, wherever the i mean the sexual reproduction can be seen we can also identify the variations what is the meaning of the variation the degree of differences okay so it is either beneficial or harmful to the organism but generally so these variation should be minor okay that is heritable so heritable means which can be transferred from parents to progeny the minor variations okay so if it is either beneficial or the harmful to the organism if it is a beneficial then organisms can go can get the positive variation or we can also say the positive variations are responsible for the beneficial characteristics of the organism if it will be negative variation they are harmful to the organism for the next progeny okay so this is one of the key component and the second one is over production okay so for example the population size grows exponentially due to the maximum reproduction so that means generally consider the the or any organism with respect to the particular species in a particular region if they whatever they are getting the resources they are unlimited if it is will be unlimited if i take example of the bacterial population in the culture medium with optimum temperature and a very good nutrient nutrient medium what will happens the population size grows exponentially that means enormously due to the maximum reproduction because of favorable condition okay so this is applicable for all the species including plant and animal okay so this is what another key component which is tried to explain by the darwin okay i hope you can understand it is very easy okay yeah the third one is limited natural resources consider the resources are not increased according to with their population size so that means whatever the resources are present it is that much only but the number of population is increasing day by day what will happens so it is also become one of the a limiting factor the resources will become one of the limiting factor so that's what i said the limited natural resources the resources are not increased in accordance with the population size okay so that's why so this is one of the key component which is comes under the darwinism so what may be the problem happens okay so whenever the limited natural resources are present due to the increasing population there may be competition happens okay there may be competition happens between the same species are with respect to the different species present in a particular geographical area okay for the purpose of the survival okay so this is another key component that is nothing but limited natural resources so the next one is the struggle for existence so that's what i was telling about it is the competition among the organism for limited resources so that population size is limited what will happens see just now i said no consider the number is increasing but the resources are limited okay and so whenever the resources are limited so there will be competition happens among the so it may be intra intra species competition or between inter species competition so it may be because of the i mean to get the food for the habitat to get the opposite mate like that so there may be different reasons okay so and in this case what will happens whenever the competition ha- happens among the organism for resources so that the population size is limited how 
so whenever the computation happens what will happens the dominant character having the organism or the dominant species will survive whereas the recessive species will be eliminated okay so that so it is one of the key component it is a struggle for existence okay is it clear it's very easy then and the fifth key component of the darwinism that is nothing but the survival of the fittest what is the meaning of the survival of the fittest see in a struggle for existence that's what i said whenever there will be competition between the or the among the organism in a struggle for existence the organism with beneficial variations can utilize resources better okay where whatever the organisms having a capability can utilize the better resources those species will be considered as the dominant species and the other organism will be considered as the recessive okay hence they survive and reproduce so this is called survival of the fittest okay are you getting whenever the competition happens so that means in a struggle for existence organism with beneficial variations can utilize the resources better due to the dominant characters whereas hence they can survive and reproduce but opposite will be considered as the recessive so this is called survival of the fittest at least to a change in population characteristics and in new forms appears okay so this is very important one so that's what generally we will call survival of the fittest okay so not only this one we can give different type of the example consider so if the normal species which is living in a temperate region if it will move towards the colder region or the polar region if they can able to get adjust with that particular environment then only they can survive or else it will be get eliminated so this can also be given as another example okay so that's what we call survival of the fittest if it not get adjusted what will happens it lead to the change in population and the characteristics and the new forms appear or that particular species will be get eliminated okay so yeah so these are all the five key components which is by using the darwin okay try to explain in detail about the so that is a natural selection as well as the darwin's theory of the evolution see uh, actually the darwin ignored about the origin of variation and the mechanism of the evolution or the speciation so that is one of the drawback okay so what is the main drawback of the darwin the darwin ignored about origin of variation that is nothing but degree of differences he didn't explain about how exactly the variations happens and the mechanism of the evolution actually how the variation play important role during mechanism of evolution are the speciation the speciation is nothing but single step mutation which is leads to the large variation okay the next one the next theory the th which is comes under theory of self the biological evolution that is mechanism of evolution which is given by the hugo davis okay the hugo davis who proposed the mutation theory of evolution so he conducted some experiments on evening primrose okay it is commonly called the evening primrose the botanical name Ainothera lamarckiana and believed that evolution takes place through mutation and not by minor variation okay so here is the plant which is given in the slide okay so that means actually okay what is this mechanism evolution means the evolution needs change or variations isn't it hence the variations are the raw material for the evolution unless there is a variation no evolution takes place so then what is or the what are the origin of the variation and how does speciation occurs okay so there are three name of the biologists 
express their views are as follows okay so that means in that one first one actually the Mendel you know very well that he tried to explain the inheritable factors influencing the phenotype you know the factors are nothing but the so whatever we are discussing nowadays they are nothing but the genes the structural and functional unit of the heredity and what about the another one the Darwin isn't it the Darwin that is Darwinian variation is minor a slow and directional it results in gradual evolution so that means the Darwin either ignore these observations that means the Mendel's observation are kept silent but he mentioned that the natural selection that is sorting out of the better fit individual from a population by the nature okay and finally the Hogadiveris believed that the mutation which causes evolution so, okay did you got it so that means the three biologists express their views with respect to the mechanism of the evolution okay yeah so the Darwinian variation is minor slow and directional it results in gradual evolution and the mutational variation which is given by the Hogadiveris is a sudden okay random and directionless here the speciation is by the saltation what is the meaning of speciation a single step mutation which is leads to large variations is called saltation and the mutation is the origin of variation for the evolution I told you mutation is nothing but sudden heritable changes okay so it is responsible for the evolution okay so this is how exactly the a mechanism of the evolution which is tried to explain by three biologists and express their own views okay what is that own views so remember the mental inheritable factor influencing phenotype okay so then the Darwin so either ignore these the mental observation are kept silent so that means so he mentioned that natural selection the sorting out of the better fit individual from a population by nature and finally who whatever is believed that mutation which causes the evolution okay so this is with respect to the mechanism of evolution so today what we were discussed we were discussed about the biological evolution so which is explained by three name of the scientists the first one is the Lamarck theory of evolution it is also known as theory of inheritance of the acquired characters okay which is given by the French naturalist Lamarck had said that evolution of the life forms had occurred by driven by use and disuse of the organs and also he is given the example of the giraffe okay so is an attempt to forage leaves on tall trees had to adopt by elongation of the neck and forelimbs isn't it and they paused on this acquired characters of elongated neck to succeed in generation so that the giraffe closely over the years came to the acquired the long neck as well as the, the forelimbs and another one is the Darwin's theory of evolution it is popularly known as a natural selection it is a process of selection of better adopted individuals with useful variations by the nature or individuals less adopted to the environment are eliminated and selecting those better adopted by the nature the third one is who could is okay who could is who believed that mutation which causes the evolution okay and after that we will discuss about the mechanism of the evolution so that means evolution needs to changes or variations so that means the variations is necessary for the evolution so hence the variations are the raw material for evolution unless there is a variation no evolution takes place okay so these are all about the the biological evolution as well as the mechanism of the evolution so let it be next class we will continue with respect to the further topic okay so thank you have a nice day